Hey everybody, Economic Ninja, I hope you're doing well. We're gonna talk about Tyson Foods. Tyson Foods has partnered with a company and there are fact-checking websites out there trying to lead people astray, saying that it's not true what the news headlines are saying. And I'm gonna share something with you and what the news headlines are saying, and this is a little old news, but I came across the fact-checking website and it really ticked me off. Um, as people are boycotting Tyson Foods, let me know or hashtag boycott Tyson Foods down below if you're boycotting them because of their uh, deceptive hiring practices when they were actually out there targeting migrant workers as they're laying off Americans and closing down plants in America. They're looking to build up um, uh, migrant workers working for their plants. At the same time this is going on, there was a very interesting um, partnership made between Tyson Foods and a company named Protix, all right? The fact-checking websites are out there telling people that no, Tyson Foods are not putting bugs in their food. Check out this. This is from, this is Tyson Foods announces partnership with Protex, right? This is directly from TysonFoods.com. Let's get the facts really straight because fact checkers I think are from the devil, honestly. And what blows me away is there are people that have completely lost their minds that actually listen to those fact checking websites. Check out the first sentence of this story from Tyson Foods. Tyson Foods, one of the world's largest food companies, has reached an agreement for a twofold investment with Protix, the leading global insect ingredients company. All right, that's the first sentence. The strategic investment will support the growth of the emerging, emerging insect ingredient industry and expand the use of insect ingredients solutions to create more efficient, sustainable proteins and lipids for use in the global, global food system. The agreement combines Tyson Foods' global scale experience and network with Protex technology and market leadership to meet certain or sorry, current market demand and scale the production of insect ingredients. Think about this. We are in a world where the powers of bee do not want you eating chicken, pork, beef, especially beef. I wonder why that is. Maybe it's because it's really good for you. But there are lies being perpetrated and they're being put out on fact check websites that cow farts actually destroy the ozone. This is absolutely insane. And just so you know, it's also your car and all these other things while the global elites fly around by themselves in private jets to Davos and come up with a plan to destroy our lives. You can't make this up. If you're part of this movement of, of boycotting um, based on your fundamental beliefs as a human being and you wanna see the human race keep moving forward in a good manner, put it down below. Because this is the reason, this is disgusting to me, where people believe fact checkers. See, what's happening is the fact checkers will say something, no, Tyson Foods aren't gonna have insect in it. No, what's gonna happen is um, Tyson just joined and invested in this company to push this company and a, a couple of new brands out there to push insects all in front of you. And the reason why, when we're looking at these soy boys that are just, oh my gosh, people, that, they're not men. People that are being raised on horrible foods and they're weak-minded, they're weak-bodied, they're, uh, they're not all there, right, mentally. This is what, globalists want. They want to slow you down. That's why they don't want you eating solid forms of protein. It says through the direct uh, equity investment, uh, Tyson Foods will acquire a minority stake in Protix to help fund its global expansion. In addition, Tyson Foods and Protix have entered a joint venture for the operation and construction of an insect ingredient facility in the continental United States. You know, this is probably why Tyson's out there looking for all this uh, migrant help because no good, solid, uh, good-hearted, red-blooded American would ever work at a place like this. Upon completion, it will be the first at-scale facility of its kind to upcycle food manufacturing byproducts into high-quality insect proteins and lipids, which will permanently be used in pet food, aquaculture, and livestock industries. Do you believe that? Let me, let me ask you this, honestly. Put it down below. Do you believe that this is just for livestock and, and pets? No, I do not believe that one bit. Our partnership with Protex represents the latest strategic investment by Tyson Foods in groundbreaking solutions that drive added value to Tyson Foods business. Let me state something else. There have been test markets all around the world 
where you're starting to see prepackaged foods, you turn it around, that you could see it on X all the time, um, and it's advertised showing in the back that it's using insect proteins in these foods. These test markets are testing to see not only if it sells, but if there's a backlash from the public. That's what's happening. So now it's happening in our backyard. They're building a massive facility to build these uh, to make insect uh, proteins, but they're saying, don't worry, it's just for, for, for livestock or it's just for pets or aquaculture. No, it's not. I'll tell you what, you want aquaculture? You want to feed, take a cricket and throw it in a bass pond and watch what happens. You need to raise some fish, throw a cricket in there. You don't need to freaking make something, some mush or meal to make into something else. See, my whole point is that they're working on something much bigger. That is that when the price of food skyrockets, you will eat bugs and be happy. That is their slogan. This is serious stuff. Now it says the to be built facility in the U.S. will house an enclosed system to support all aspects of insect protein production, including the breeding, incubating, and hatching of insect larvae, in addition to ingredients for the, for the aquaculture and pet food industries. Uh, processed larvae may also be used as ingredients within livestock and plant feed. Protex is fully in, uh, integrated insect ingredients company, producing and processing 14,000 metric tons uh, annually in its Netherlands facility, which has been operating since 2019. It serves, and that makes sense that it's starting in the Netherlands because this whole movement's coming out of Europe. Um, this is absolutely disgusting to me. And to be honest with you, I think what we need to do is keep these boycotts going and keep them out in the mainstream media. So please share this video if you can, if you agree with this, because what happens is when companies like Tyson get boycotted and they have less money, they can't invest in these kind of companies. They go, oh crap, human beings don't want to be fed bugs. They don't like a globalist agenda. Hope you got something out of this. Thank you to everybody that shares it because we need to keep the uh, motion going. That being said, the Economic Ninja is out.